the whole aim was to uh, create a youth academy where we can be proud to develop our own players and when they reach a certain age we can put them in, in the first team. Our ultimate dream is to win the Champions League, but we want to do that in our own style. I never knew what futsal was when I was playing football, so looking at, looking at it now, I, I really wish that I knew what futsal was when I was younger at this age, because I would, I'd be doing both. There's more and more players uh, playing the game, there's more coaches knowing about the game. I think people are starting to realise the benefits of futsal over football and it's growing a lot, a lot, especially in Manchester. The Youth Academy kind of started uh, because we, we had the first team, you know, when we started the first team in 2006. At that time there was not many youth uh, academies or youth programme going in, in Manchester or in England. So obviously after a few years we've uh, kind of decided, look, we can't rely on, on the foreign players coming across and playing for the first team. You know, the whole aim was to uh, create a youth academy where we can be proud to develop our own players and when they reach a certain age we can put them in, in the first team. For the youth programme, when we start, we start from under six years, it's just about just letting them have a feel of what futsal is, just as much playing time as possible, a lot of things with the ball, and then as we progress older, we like to you know, do a little bit of more tactics and tactical stuff, and then obviously you've got from under, under sixes to eights, to tens to twelves, fourteens, and we've got a development squad, and then you've got the first team. The way we operate is Obviously we've got teams in each of those age groups but we're looking at the individuals and trying to develop the individuals because at the end of the day we're not a, a club that's based on how the academy teams do results wise whether they win this or they win that, it's actually creating individuals that are ready to go and to play for the first team. Our ultimate dream is to win the Champions League but we want to do that in our own style with Manchester players that are born here and from here and developing that culture is it's, it's really crucial. Hey, my name is Rafe Barber, I'm 17 years of age, I've been playing for Manchester Futsal. I was playing for Manchester City's academy at the time and uh, during my time there I was diagnosed with Osgood Slatter's disease which is like a, a bump you get underneath your knee which can be very painful especially playing over long durations of time so after I was released from Manchester City I was told to have complete rest and not play football and as a sportsman that's like it's very hard for me so when I was asked to play in a Warburton's Futsal Cup which is a tournament, I jumped at the opportunity because I love playing sport. And at the end of the tournament, uh, Sam Richardson, which is a senior coach here and he plays for the first team, asked me to come down and play for Manchester Futsal. So that's how I got into there as my first experience of futsal. We're basically giving an opportunity to kids that maybe they didn't have that before. So that's why I got into that game. I prefer small-sided uh, football. And I think there's lots of kids out there, the really talented players, players that maybe don't suit 11 aside as much as they do suit futsal. And we're giving them the opportunity to come in and get involved and see how they do. Because at the end of the day, not everyone's going to be a footballer, but you're actually talented at a game. That's similar, like it's very similar to football. A lot of the players that we've got now are football players. Me, for example, I've come from football to futsal. I never knew what futsal was when I was playing football, so <laughs> looking, at, looking at it now, I, I really wish that I knew what futsal was when I was younger at this age, because I would I'd be doing both. Futsal is a great sport to uh, look, look back on because it's your second opportunity. You've got, obviously, our development squad, first team, and you've got the England pathway as well. So there's always got stuff to drop back on that as well. So that's why we've got quite a lot of players because we've got that pathway. <laughs> Futsal's a great tool to use as football as well because it improves you know, your speed of thought, technique. It's just a great, great little addition to have. I came to Manchester Futsal Cup when I was 14. Yeah, I've enjoyed playing Futsal for three years. Compared to football, you get so many more touches of the ball. Yeah, it's much more intense and you can feel like you can really have an impact on the game. 
In football now, I can get out of situations I would never have been able to get out of before I started playing futsal, just in terms of using my quick feet or just being tactically be able to adapt to different situations. My upbringing in Holland was more street, so everything was around street football. There was no referees, there was no real coaches, there was just people wanted to play football and having fun. So we're trying to implement that to the kids here when we, when we come and train these kids. Have fun, express yourself and show us the street skills because that's what we want to see at the club. We believe enjoyment comes first. The kids have to enjoy themselves. And then also is the development part of it which is where we come in to place as coaches. We help them with their feet, making sure they're ready, technically. And then by the age of 12, 14s, we try throwing in a little bit of tactics in regards to futsal. But by 16, you pretty much have all the attributes that you need to have, which is the technical bit, the technical side of it. And then you, you get to a beautiful place like this. And then this is where you get towards the actual rope. I've been coached by Ilya, Kingi, Sam, and they've had uh, big factors in my development, not just from listening to them, but from watching them play because they play in the first team and they have many skills for themselves. And I, I, I learned just from watching them and it's just good. They have a massive part in my development. When you see the young guys going and play for a develop, uh, development team or first team, you've got more, I've got more satisfaction from that than I have playing. So it's like all the work that you've put in behind the scenes and all the work that they've put in and all the effort and all the commitment that nobody else sees. You see them scoring a goal or doing a really good move or you know doing a really good piece of action. And, and you, you've got more uh, satisfaction from that than you have when you do it yourself. The prime example that we talk about is Sam Gao because uh, earlier when he started his sessions he had Sam Gao and it's great to see him go from like literally from a boy from a little you know like a, a young kid a boy to going into to the development team this season and then he also played in the first team uh, and that's just that's just great like that's basically what you want to see. Gawi, Gawi, how long have you been part of the youth program? Six years. Place of Manchester Football Club, eh? <laughs> six years. He's been six years. He's been three years. Both training with the first team, development team. That's it. This is the guys. So we'll see. The, hey, yeah, we're gonna do the interview with them later. This is the guys. The main goal is obviously winning the league. But in order to win the league, you, you gotta have a bound. So the relationship has to be good. Whether you play for the first team, you play for the 16s, whatever. You've got to believe in the guys that you play with. And therefore you can build and you can build to go and achieve whatever you want to achieve. What we've realized is uh, social corners are very important. Making sure that there's a bond between the players, not only on the court, but also off the court. As, as the coaches, we recognize that and throughout under age, under 16s, uh, we, we, we go with that theme. It is actually like a family, so they'll all come to the game. And then you'll, you'll see them watching, but at half time they'll be all playing together. So you'll have an eight or nine year old playing with a 13 year old. Then you'll see them in session, and maybe one of them will watch the session. Maybe the sessions will change over, and they're giving handshakes, and they're, they're speaking, and they're saying hello, and they're doing jokes. And it goes back down, so the 16s are doing the same with the 14s. And that's what you want, it, because at the end of the day, it's a family, and it's, they need to come and enjoy it. Because if you don't enjoy something, you're never going to be the best you can be. It's just like a big, like one big family. So you got people my age socialising with younger ones, eight, nine, ten. Uh, then with the first team, so like Kingy, Sam, their age, and it's just like everyone just comes together just to play football. One of the reasons uh, futsal is becoming popular is because futsal uh, gives you that freedom to express yourself on the court in terms of the skills in terms of the camaraderie between the players. Players love playing free versus free street games and it kind of recreates that in more organized uh, environment. I think it's getting more and more popular. I think people are starting to realize the benefits of futsal over football and coming into the game more. Like I've seen a lot more kids coming down to the sessions and it's growing a lot, a lot, especially in Manchester. 
there's more and more players uh, playing the game, there's more coaches knowing about the game and uh, here in Manchester we, we're making sure that that culture is, is developing and I really hope to say that uh, we have influenced that footballing culture in Manchester. Mm -hmm.